now we are going to create our archive page section the archive pages will be the blog post page that will basically display or list our blog posts now to do that we are simply going to come over here and exit to the dashboard and under theme builder i'm going to say add a new and i'm going to say an archive and here i'm going to say blogs then i create a template right here elementor will bring me the archive templates that they have already created that i can start with at the moment i'm not going to use any of those i'm simply going to close over this and here by default our header shows up our new sticker shows up and our footer shows up because we set them to be appearing on the entire website so we don't have to recreate them over and over again now here i'm going to simply add a new section and this section is going to be having two columns now there are a couple of uh, options we can even come over here to elements kit because elements kit already has a bundle of pre-made sections for example when i come over here to this section these are already made sections that are available to use now when i come here to the section for the blog you realize that elements kit has already made some has already some pre-made sections for our blog posts right here that we can use now i can get started with a free one over here and then I insert that section and boom here it shows up and when I click here on the edit option and when I come here and edit the widget I can make changes to what can be queried in this specific section of the website basically let me uh, I'm going to just the first section that I had created and I'm going to come over here uh, I want to show a number of posts per row I want to show three of them I want to show the post title, uh, the query, I want to show the post counts are going to be three, but I can even say six posts to show up, or I can even say eight of them, and the categories, all the categories, news, entertainment, and business. If you want to eliminate, you simply delete the category from appearing there. Order by date, ascending or descending, you know, whatever you want. And then the meta description or what you want to display under the meta. The date and category seems okay. And, and you can even make changes to the icons of the meta uh, options. So when I come back to the layout, I have the option to show the read more option or the read more button, which is over here. Uh, this is a layout that is showing post without thumbnails now if you want to show the post with thumbnails you simply switch over there and boom your thumbnails will show up right there now let me show you a preview of this see how that looks like now when we come over here to the widgets area and then we look up for a widget that is from elementor called archive posts i simply drag it over here I am going to delete this other one that we had created that is from elements kit now when we get over this from elementor and then the skin we can choose different skins there's a classic one cards and then the full content when i choose the cards skin it will show up just like this and then the columns are three and we can show images or we don't want to show images the image size we can say it is full so that doesn't look like kind of uh, low quality we can choose to show the author the date the time comments and all that stuff under styles you can make changes to your styles over there for example when i come over here realize you see this is what is it's looking like and once you say update since we are creating an archive page we're going to add a condition and we want this to appear or to be used as the archive for all archive pages so i'll say save and close but also to explain to you further on what archive pages means archive pages means author archive date archive search archives uh, post archives uh, category archives and all other archives on this entire website but also elementor gives you the ability to create archive templates for maybe 
a specific category and you can do that over here by simply selecting category and you can specify maybe the take category and you say this temperature i'm creating is only for the take category but that's not what we want we want to simply create one template that is going to work for all the archive pages and then i simply save and close once you save that over i'm going to come over here to our home page open our home page once it shows up over there i'm going to go to our archive page which is the blog and boom here it shows up our latest news now all our blog posts are showing up over here so once you are done creating your archive page right there you're going to simply hit update and this is how it looks like really looks beautiful and like i said you can make changes to any of these you can even choose to show the avatar for the author the name even the read more over down here for example the content you can say you want to change the title color let me say i want the title color to be this color which is purple so in a nutshell that's how you can create an archive page for your wordpress archive pages including categories and blog post archives